हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन रीसेंट टाइम्स एनएमसी हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड द न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आईएमजी इंडियन मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट एंड ऑफ कोर्स देर इज आल्सो एफएमजी द फॉरेन मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट द इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स हु आर स्टडीइंग मेडिसिन अब्रॉड इन वेरियस कंट्रीज व्हाट वाज द थॉट प्रोसेस बिहाइंड दिस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट इन रीसेंट इयर्स दे ऑब्जर्वड दैट एन इंडियन मेडिकल स्टूडेंट हु इज अ फ्यूचर डॉक्टर is just limited to rectifying the books the subject matter then write the theory answers long long answers and then get good marks that's it i mean only just the exam orientedness was uh, found in the indian medical student uh, they thought that a future doctor should have multiple facets to his or her personality and those for uh, multiple dimensions should be explored during the journey of uh, medical curriculum with that aim in mind they introduced a few new terms in the indian medical education so this video is about just exploring those uh, new terms and what they mean for you mean to you all right uh, let's see first the full forms cbme competency based medical education sdl self directed learning ece early clinical exposure and atcom uh, attitude ethics and communication now let's have a look at them one by one starting with sdl this is going to be uh, a major departure from your 12th standard study pattern till 12th standard you only had probably one resource you have by hearted that resource and then wrote the answers in the exams or uh, answered the mcqs but uh, the medical studies should be more uh, self directed learning type or rather it should include this self directed learning process i had heard a quotable quote in my student days a good teacher uh should inspire you to learn by yourself motivate you to learn more and more explore more and more and not just transfer of notes from the teachers notebooks to the students notebook without going through the heads of either of them so you know uh, you should be inspired to learn and explore the subject more and more with that in aim in mind they introduce the term self directed learning that is you should have the active participation in the process of learning and not just imbibe and absorb the material and write in the exam your study should be much greater and wider uh, in terms of overall learning so uh, what will this include it includes how to search the resource materials you know you will find that in the medical field there is no just one book that you are supposed to follow there are multiple resources and you will have to gather information from various resources and create a more wholesome knowledge for you uh, in each subject so this is going to be related to the subject matter so uh, going to the library and learning a particular topic from uh, various books including pg level books there uh, may be videos use of ai so how you effectively make use of these resources and gain a complete knowledge in the subject matter apart from that uh, periodically they will be giving you topics and remember nobody will be able to hide from this if you are thinking that i won't have to do this this part which i am going to uh, tell you now it's not possible everybody will have to present the topics in their college so uh, they will give you a topic you will make a group of five students and then explore that topic by yourself learn that topic from various resources and present it uh, to the audience and of course the audience is going to be your own batchmates so this is how you learn uh, to explore the subjects more and more uh, you learn the communication skills how to present a topic because later on as you become doctors you are going to conduct the seminars cmes etc and that all will begin from the first year itself in the form of self directed learning so remember your active learning will be a more important part rather than just mugging up some from somewhere and writing it in the exam then the early clinical exposure i find a little contradiction in this uh, term or, or or rather this concept because 
look uh, previously the first year subjects like anatomy physiology biochemistry they were called preclinical subjects then second year subjects were called as paraclinical subjects and final year subjects were called clinical subjects that is medicine uh, surgery obgy etc but then the re in the recent times nmc said now everything this has been scrapped this terminology is scrapped everything is now clinical everything anat physio biochem patho pharmac everything is clinical that is what nmc says in its recent circular but then that means if if everything is clinical then what is the need for calling early clinical exposure as if to say that your real clinical exposure will come in final year and this is just an early clinical exposure so i found little contradiction in this but nevertheless it's an important concept uh, that as you learn anatomy physiology biochemistry uh, they will give you the core concepts and basic understanding of the body's structures and functions but uh, at every point you will have to also learn the clinical application of those concepts so it will include practical in the form of visits to the hospital that was not a part of uh, uh, of the medical curriculum previously but now visit to the hospital visit to the skill lab and clinical case based questions yes now i am coming to the important part because you will ask what is in it for us in exams whether this is important from exam point of view yes you will have clinical case based questions which means that a case will be given to you uh, in the theory paper and you will have to uh, understand what that case is about it is related to, to which organ system and write the answers uh, there will be a one long question and one or two short notes based on the clinical case based questions or case based scenarios and remember there are no pyqs in this in all the other questions you get pyqs that is previous year questions or question banks and those questions get repeated so you already know what can come in the exam but in this case in this case there is a case based scenario which is going to be new every time you won't have something which is already solved previously and then uh, you just have to write it again in the exam so this is where your uh, problem solving skills problem solving abilities will come into question or will come into effect so remember this is going to be a part of the exam and better start understanding the clinical concepts from the day one that this particular topic can be asked in a clinical manner or you can refer to the previous uh, questions uh, now there are two or three batches gone where they they have asked clinical case based questions just go through those questions they will not be repeated new clinical cases will come but you will get an idea as to okay this is how the question will be asked and this is how i am supposed to answer then the third part is at com attitude ethics and communication uh, you know all of us uh, are aware of this that in the recent times in the recent years the relationships between doctor and the patient or doctor and the society are little strained uh, these strained relationships need to be healed and from that point of view this atcom uh, part has been introduced there will be atcom modules in each year so this is going to be starting from the first year and it will be there till your final year so it will in include attitude ethics and communication now what is it in for the exam you will get one short note in each paper uh, and of the each subject so you'll get anatomy uh, two short notes physiology two short notes and biochem two short notes one or two short notes uh, on atcom and it will include uh, the modules like what does it mean to be a patient what are the patient's sufferings so you understand those sufferings well what does it mean to be a doctor you uh, you will be looked up to by the society as a doctor as a person who heals the patient and therefore uh, that aspect apart from that the doctor patient relationship how you should behave with patients uh, uh, the patient patients relatives or society in general all these modules will be taught and you will get short notes now this uh you can also write on the basis of general knowledge i mean a uh, doctor patient relationship or a doctor and his relation with the society in general 
so uh, it will have certain amount of general understanding of these concepts there may not be lot of theory matter available on these you can write in the exam uh, the points that you feel uh, about all these modules okay finally cbme competency based medical education they have divided the nmc has divided the entire subject each subject into various modules and now they are calling the same uh, entire subject as competency based medical education the modules have been created so you get to know what is the specific learning objective when you are learning a particular topic by the end of this topic what should you understand as a core concept and what competency will be generated on the basis of learning of this topic i mean if you uh, for example you are learning lung volumes and capacities so the competency will be how you are able to diagnose uh, or analyze the lung function tests in healthy individuals and uh, in the diseased individuals so that is how entire subject will be divided into those modules and each module will not be necessarily one theory lecture it may be more than that but at the end of that one or two or three lectures you will be uh, proficient in understanding that this is applicable as this particular competency and uh, that's a brilliant idea that nmc came up in recent times so cbme uh, will be there in your subjects uh, slowly as you learn the subject you will realize what are the learning objectives and what competency gets developed by learning this particular topic so this in a nutshell was uh, these terms that have been recently introduced i'll make one more video uh, or few more videos rather to discuss each of them in detail as to how you should approach uh, these uh, new terms